It is common practice when you build a website that you have a static version of what you ultimately want to build. It is important to analyze this deliverable so that when you begin to code, you are using the correct elements and ensuring that your page is semantic. And since you do want to write semantic markup, then you need to structure the HTML documents properly. I like to think of the HTML5 semantic elements in relation to a newspaper. Think about it. A newspaper is very similar in many ways. It has a masthead at the top of the page, which is like a header. It often has some sort of table of contents, which is like a nav. It has sections and articles, and sometimes there are sides. There are also plenty of images with captions. If you question how to structure your web page, then think of the newspaper metaphor. Think about how the various pieces work together and how it is structured. This can be a helpful way to assist in breaking down your web page. What I recommend is that you look at your web page plan. This could be a formal drawing or a napkin sketch at the least. It is important to have an idea of what content will be on the web page and what your vision is to build it. This will enable you to make the right choices in regards to which elements you should ultimately use. Once you look at your plan, start to make notes about what elements make the most semantic sense to use on the various areas. The elements that we just finished discussing, the sectioning and non-sectioning, are a good place to begin. They all provide semantic meaning in addition to the grouping attributes. Some will be easy to identify in your design. Don't feel like you have to use all of the elements. Just use the ones that make the most sense. I often jot notes during this part of the process. This can be helpful for me to use as a reference later on. The header is used as a container and it typically contains the site logo, heading elements, and possibly site navigation. The nav element contains blocks of site navigational links. This element is typically placed in the page header or possibly the footer. You may also create navbar elements in the side or sidebar if that exists on your website. Generally, you'll have a footer. This typically contains authorship, contact, copyright information, and sometimes additional navigational links. The main element is a high-level element used to contain all of the content that is unique to a single web page and not repeated across multiple web pages. A section element is used to mark off sections of a document. This could be things like chapters or major sections within your page. The article element is used to identify a block of content suitable for reuse and syndication in other settings. Once you have your plan, you can jump into your code editor and begin to code. Now keep in mind that your HTML web page will not resemble your drawing. For this, we will need CSS. Remember that presentation is separated from structure. But before we can begin to build out the design, we need a good, solid, meaningful foundation. We'll do that next.